IFA started yesterday. The edition 2019 is uh, the seventh is at the seventh anniversary of the exhibition. By my side, uh, Johan Schmidt, uh, director of IFA. Johan, good afternoon. Hi, Sonia. Again. <laughs> What about uh, the edition 2019? Well, it started just yesterday, as you said. Uh, we're in the 70th edition, so it's sort of. Uh, the culminating point of a of a long tradition there because we've been we've started out in 1949 with uh, an an IFA that was a lot smaller than it is today obviously i think we've uh, since then i looked it up somewhere we've quadrupled in uh, in size since the 1940s and it's under complete uh, different circumstances of course John, this edition has an increasing of uh, the square meter. We have also one pavilion more, the 12th. And so what about uh, exhibitors and also what about Italian exhibitors? Yeah, uh, Italian exhibitors are still uh, continue to be the biggest group after the German group. So it's 88 exhibitors from Italy this time, uh, which is about the same number that we had in uh, 2016. But they've increased very much in in size so there's almost a 20% increase in the size of the exhibitors so it for t to me it kind of shows the the success of the italian company still in this uh, food processing processing also because uh, we can say that ifa is the reference point relating the meat processing technology yeah it definitely i think you can safely say that it's uh, the meat industry's main meeting point and venue every every three years Is the international exhibition relating this? Because is uh, if I done wrong, uh, no, 49 uh, countries exhibitor from 49 countries. Exactly. So there's around about 50 uh, exhibiting countries, and uh, well, we can't tell yet, but uh, it's surely above 140 visitor nations, and they really come from very very far away. As we're only in day two. Uh, it's hard to sort of give you the final results of where they all come from, but what we can feel uh, after the first day is that South America is really going strong this time. Maybe it's, I think it's not a secret for the whole industry that they're, um, you know, advancing their industry. And um, then we've got Russia and Ukraine uh, also developing well and... Um, well, mixed countries all over the world, but they come from very far, Australia too. We saw also um, several appointments like conference or meeting or what, so many uh, new, many information, many conference relating the novelty of uh, about meat processing technologies. Yeah, exactly. So we, we've, we've gone a long way and discussed with the industry very much uh, what we're trying to, um, you know, what topic we're trying to have stand out this year. And uh, I think, you know, there are several, but um, automation is still on top of the agenda of everybody. Uh, sometimes just, you know, to increase the, the yield of production, the speed of production and to cost save when producing. That's, of course, one aspect. But then again, it's sometimes, you know, the, the, the lack of human resources wanting to work in this, in this industry sometimes that, you know, forces people to automate. So that's one thing. And then packaging is another big issue, the European packaging, uh, new directives that makes people, you know, innovate very much. IFA is an appointment every three years, so which is the next date of IFA? Uh, 22, we're going to hold IFA again on 14th to 19th of May. Thank you so much, Joan. You're welcome, Sonia. Good to see you again.